Oh, hello there. My name's Mr. Evans. And this is my station. I do all sorts of things around here. It's my job to make sure everything at the station runs just the way it should, without confusion or delay. But no matter how busy I am, I always find time to read a story about the adventures of my good friend, Thomas. Would you like to hear a story? That's fantastic. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you in my office. See you there. Oh, you got here before me, as usual. Excuse me, I'd better get that phone. Hello, Mr. Evans speaking. Hello, Mr. Evans speaking. Oh, hello. I mean, Ni Hao, Mr. Lee. It's my friend, Mr. Lee. He's calling me all the way from China. Yes. Yes, Mr. Lee. I'll be waiting here for you at the station. You've got lots of luggage. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll use my porter's trolley. Just let me know when you'll be arriving. Goodbye. I mean, Zai Jin. That was my good friend, Mr. Lee. He's coming all the way from China to visit me. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. In today's story, Thomas goes to China. He also goes to Africa and South America. And, well, let's find out, shall we? Today's story is called Big World, Big Adventures. It was a sunny day on the island of Sodor. Thomas the Tank Engine was excited to meet a race car named Ace. He was in a round-the-world rally, speeding through five continents. I've always wanted to see the world, Thomas peeped. You should do it, replied Ace. You could be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. The next day, Thomas and Ace set sail for the first continent, Africa. After that, they would go on to South America, North America, Asia, and finally back to Sodor through Europe. When they arrived in Africa, Ace left without Thomas. He sped to a city called Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. But Thomas had to stick to the rails. A yard manager gave Thomas lots of trucks to deliver to the faraway city. The little engine set off all by himself. It was hard work pulling the trucks up the big hills. Luckily, Thomas met an engine named Nia, who offered to help. Two engines are much better than one, she peeped. Thomas replied that he didn't need help. But Thomas did need help. The trucks were too heavy for him to pull alone. Nia stayed with Thomas and helped him with his heavy trucks. Nia also helped when they met a giant elephant blocking the tracks. She and the trucks sang a lullaby and the elephant wandered off to nap beneath a tree. Nia travelled with Thomas all the way to Dar es Salaam. Please keep your eyes open for my friend Ace, Thomas peeped. Nia's friend Kwaku said he had seen some race cars, but they had left. Ace must have left without me again, said Thomas. Hmm, he doesn't sound like a very good friend, said Nia. Thomas knew Ace's next race was in Rio de Janeiro in South America. Nia asked if she could help Thomas find Ace, but he told her to go home. Then he steamed to the docks and was loaded onto a ship to continue on his big adventure. At sea, Thomas was surprised to find Nia on the ship. She wanted to travel with him and be the second engine to go all the way around the world. Thomas was also surprised to find Ace on board too. Why didn't you wait for me? Thomas asked the yellow race car. You want to be a free spirit, don't you? Ace asked. When they reached South America, Ace sped off and left Thomas alone again. Thomas wanted to follow Ace across South America to the next rally in North America. Luckily, a railway worker needed Thomas to carry coffee to San Francisco in the United States. Nia offered to help, and they set off together through the rainforest pulling the heavy load. On the way, they found Ace. He had had an accident while racing. So they loaded him up and gave him a ride. When they reached North America, Ace didn't want to go to San Francisco. He wanted Thomas to take him to the Salt Flats in Utah so he could get repaired and meet the other racers. 
Ace convinced Thomas to play a trick on Nia, and they sped off without her. Ace told Thomas to race across the Western land. Thomas went so fast, he came off the track. An old mining engine called Bo and his friends got Thomas back on the rails. As everyone worked together to help, Thomas realised he'd done a terrible thing to Nia. We should have stayed with her, he peeped. It wasn't nice to play a trick on her. At the Salt Flats, Ace met up with the other racers, but Thomas wanted to deliver his coffee and find Nia to apologise. He steamed on to San Francisco with his load, but Nia wasn't there. Thomas hoped he could find her at the next stop, China. Thomas found Nia on a snowy mountain in China. I'm sorry. I wish I hadn't upset you. Can we still be friends? He peeped. But before Nia could respond, there was an avalanche. It hit Nia and knocked her off the tracks. Thomas was too small to pull her back onto the rails by himself. Just then, a Chinese engine named Yung Bao came crashing through the snow. His big plow cleared the way and he pulled both engines to safety. Thomas thanked Young Bao for being big and strong. We are bigger and stronger when we work together, said Nia. So where are you going now? asked Young Bao. Continent number five, Europe, said Thomas and Nia. Thomas and Nia then set off for Europe and the island of Sodor. Thomas introduced Nia to Emily, Percy, James, Henry, Edward and Gordon. His friends steamed with happiness to see the two engines who had travelled on a big world adventure. Well, that really was a big adventure. Oh, hang on. Mr Evans speaking. Ah, Mr Lee. Ni hao. You'll be arriving on Wednesday on the 5.30. Wonderful. OK, well, I'll see you Wednesday. Zai Jin. Wednesday at 5.30. I must write that down. Now, I've got lots of chalk, but no chalkboard to write on. I know. I'll make my own special chalkboard to hang in my office. Would you like me to show you how? Let's get started. This is my Thomas chalkboard. To make it, you'll need a round kitchen chopping board, some curved Thomas wooden track, some chalkboard paint and a brush, a hot glue gun, some string, two nails and a hammer, and some spare engines. First, you need to paint your chopping board all over with the chalkboard paint. When the paint is dry, lay the track around the edges of the board to check how it fits. On my board, six pieces fit quite nicely. Ask an adult to glue the pieces of track to the board with the hot glue. Then get your adult to fix the string to the back of the board using the nails, so that you can hang it up. Now it's time to add your engines. I'm using Thomas and Percy. Ask an adult to glue them to the track so they won't fall off. And you're done. See you next time! <laughs>